Hey, I'm Tracy, Uniquely Me. I'm gonna share 25 items that I sold on eBay. <music> Item number one is a Chico Statement choker necklace and Chico's does fine for me. This sold very quickly. I would say maybe within a month of listing and they're just made well and people search them out. I don't really know why they're good quality, but it is just, you know, costume jewelry. This sold for $27 with free shipping. These were Limoji's um, bowls, like dinnerware bowls. I have eight. I sold four, so I have four more to sell. I didn't really want to sell them in lots of eight. I thought it might be easier to sell them in sets of four, easier to ship, less damage possibilities. So. I sold these for $20.64 plus shipping and they took forever. <laughs> so these were just from my parents' estate so I didn't have anything into them anyway. I just sat on them for a while and hopefully I can get rid of the second set of four. And Lemojis, let me just go ahead and show you what it looks like. Okay, here's the um, stamping for the Limoges. They have different stamps like every other brand in the world does. So um, these, you know, stated right there as 22 karat gold. So it's really easy for me to make the title for this. Anyway, these went for $20.64 plus shipping. Hopefully I can get rid of this second set of four. Middle summer and I sold a sweater. I always do. It's so funny to me. And this is not a brand. 21 Men. It's not a brand. I think it's Forever 21 The Men side of it. I could be wrong, but that's what I believe that is. You know, I got this for free. It, or not really free, but I bought a big bag of clothing. And so I had very little into this. Maybe a quarter. So I knew the design would do fine and the style. So I went ahead and listed this one. I don't pick these up for resale typically, but it did sell in the middle of summer for $16.37 plus shipping. All right, this one is, a, they're called jewelry caskets and they were very popular. I'm not sure what decade these were popular, but I think they're amazing. They do normally have beveled glass. Some of them have very ornate beveled glass, and that's really what you generally want to look for. This was a smaller piece, pretty basic, and it did have some damage on it, but um, I did sit on it for a while. I don't know how long, maybe eight, nine months. Anyway, um, check out the my title here. You know, all of these are important words for this. Vintage Style Bill is the brand. Ormolu is the design of the the metal around the edges, jewelry casket, beveled glass, footed triangle filigree filigree work. I will show you this work in here is filigree and ormolu. Those are all important keywords so if you title these right it will eventually sell. The ornate ones will sell much faster and let me see if I can find the stamp for you on the bottom. It was super hard to read. I just happened to already know this brand. So, um, I don't know, look out for it if it's really ornate. You will get way better money than I did, but I did get $24.78 plus shipping. Lafayette 148, I love this brand. I love their blazers the most. This was a tweed style, three quarter length sleeve swing blazer. And when you say swing blazer, that's because it's open, it's not fitted. So that is a swing style in a women's jacket and it sold very fast. I think I sold that within a week or two and it, here we are summer and I'm selling winter stuff guys winter and fall so I got 63.72 plus shipping on this. I love this brand you guys always look out for it. I don't necessarily look for the pants <laughs> they're harder to sell. I don't know how to pronounce this one Mijo my Mio I don't know but um it was silk and this one was actually out of my own closet and I got tired of wearing it so I listed it and 
I think I bought it probably at Nordstrom years ago. Anyway, I got $31.50 plus shipping out of that one. Super lightweight to ship. Let me go ahead and go back. I'll show you the tag. Just It, it is a decent brand to look out for. Here's the tag on that by Michelle Jonas. Mio by Michelle Jonas. I have no idea. <laughs> but it is a good brand. When I was doing comps, I would definitely comp anything with that tag on it. Okay, vintage lot of 14 cameos and brooches. I I don't know. I should have sold these differently in a smaller grouping possibly or on auction. I was having a really bad sales week, so I just wanted something. I wanted to list something that I knew would sell. And this I knew would sell and it did within a week. I priced it low on purpose. I just needed to generate some movement in my store and this did that and I I bought this in a jewelry lot from Shop Goodwill, I believe. No, this one was from eBay. I actually bought off of eBay. I really should have tried to get more money out of it. I was frustrated with jewelry that week. Sometimes that just happens and I needed things moving. So I did get 4047 plus shipping. I'm sorry I rambled about that. I have a love-hate relationship with jewelry, guys. <laughs> I have too much. It's gotta go. The cameos always sell. They really do. I should have got more though. Oh well. Lesson learned. This is nothing <laughs> major. <laughs> I picked it up on the cheap and thought it was in better condition than it was. Um, there were a lot of listed of this. It's, it's for outdoors, some kind of dove decoy. You know, you put batteries in it and the wings move around. It was a bad buy on my part, so I just wanted it gone. I didn't want to look at it anymore. And with so many listed, I just priced it cheap, and it did sell pretty quick, within maybe two, three weeks. Eighteen ninety plus shipping, and I made money on it. I just didn't. It was not a good purchase. I didn't comp it correctly, and I didn't really check it over as well as I should have when I bought it. Um, this was a vintage Fisher Price dollhouse from 1978, and I loved finding this at a yard sale. I had the exact same dollhouse when I was growing up, so it was fun to put together. I, I don't know. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The furniture was a little different than what I had when I was growing up, but this is good stuff. People search out for this to buy, and this went overseas. I think. I can't remember where it went, but I got a message on this from the buyer saying it arrived fine and she couldn't get the window up here at the top, this window right here, she could not get that popped in there. And so I messaged her back with, glad you received it in good condition. I popped it right in. Let me know <laughs> how that goes. And um, I never heard back from her. I don't know what to do with people like that. I. I mean, I sat there and did it, so I figured she could figure it out, or he, or whomever. I guess they did. <laughs> I don't know, because it hasn't been, uh, you know, returned to me, so. But all the vintage Fisher Price stuff like this does pretty good. I got seventy four thirty three plus shipping, and I did ship that, I believe, through the GPS program. Let's see. Okay, this is another personal item. I was just cleaning out a cabinet one day and I'm just trying to downsize my life so I pulled this out listed it knowing that coca-cola can sell you know it was, I threw it in a box for donations at first I go you know what I'm just gonna try to list it and see what happens it did sell within probably a month or two and I got 1238 not a huge profit but a profit since it was mine and I charge shipping so that's not bad at all pull stuff out of your cabinets when you get tired of it or when you feel like downsizing your life I do Okay, this was a vintage bracelet. Not super, super vintage, I don't think. I'm guessing 80s, 90s. But cloisonne is this metal and enamel work. You can feel, you can feel the ridges of the metal. Um, cloisonne is searched heavily in jewelry and, and also trinkets. So I always look at the cloisonne items. I do well with them. 
This wasn't a huge profit, but it came out of a jewelry bag and I got $16.51. I typically do free shipping on my jewelry, so not huge profit, but I know it will always sell. And some cloisonne does very well. This was not a marked piece. It was not signed by a maker, so that's why I went ahead and priced it a little lower, but it's in great condition. Tory Burch. I love Tory Burch so much. Um, I wanted to keep this. I didn't. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't sell, but I'm, you know, in the end, I'm glad it did. It was silk, and if you haven't seen Tory Burch tags before, that's what it looks like. And it went on its way in the middle of summer. Long sleeve. There you go. Again, I got forty nine fifty five plus shipping, and I wasn't willing to go lower because at that point I would keep it. So of course I had to sell. <laughs> This was just an estate sale find from long ago. It took forever to sell. I paid a dollar for each vintage dress I got, and this was the lingering piece that I guess nobody wanted until now. So I kept marking it down, putting it on sale. And really delicate um, lace work on the collar. It was very pretty, but you know, I don't think it was supposed to be this color when it was made. <laughs> I think it yellowed over time. But I don't know. I have a soft spot in my heart for vintage clothing. I don't wear it, I just like to look at it. <laughs> so anyway, it finally head out the door for $16.87 plus shipping. Dr. Comfort. I always look for comfort shoes, men's, women's, whatever. This, um, I did hang on to these a little longer than I should have really, but they were new in the box and I knew somebody if eventually would want these. Dr. Comfort is a diabetic shoe, so it has very special insoles to be comfortable for those with diabetes that have foot problems. These went for $57.52 plus shipping. I actually have another pair just like it listed, possibly the same size. I did not find them at the same location. I can't remember. Okay, Nike Air MVP baseball cleats. These threw me off because I'm not familiar with cleats, really. I'm going to show you why they threw me off. This photo right here shows this dip, like the shoe has been dipped in a some sort of rubbery vinyl, and I didn't know what that meant. Um, so I did some research and found out that's something called tough toe that they do on baseball cleats. I know I sound like an idiot right now to those of you that play baseball or used to or whatever, but I didn't know. So after I did the research, I figured, okay, well that's something somebody would go spend money to do on their cleat. And this one's already done. These were never used. Um, they, you could tell from the bottoms they weren't used. and. Um, it took forever to sell these, probably a year, and, but I just, you know, stuck them in my inventory and waited for the right person. Finally got rid of them for $27.61 plus shipping. I'm not very good at cleats. <laughs> these were a huge fail because I had these forever and I don't know why I bought them. I guess I bought them when, you know, other YouTubers were discussing Stuart Weitzman and, you know, they're just amazing. Well. They are, but you have still have to be in the right style frame. But I looked at these and they were in great shape, and I thought some, you know, older woman might really need these to wear to a wedding or church or something. I don't know. They took forever. I should have just clearanced them out earlier, but I didn't. I held out, and finally they are out of here for twenty-two, twenty-four plus shipping. Style matters. Rain Spooner. His shirts are really popular. I find that they're kind of dying back and not as fast of a seller as they used to be. But when I find them that have this reverse print, I typically will buy them. And this one I held on to way too long. And it was an extra large, so I, I don't know why it took so long. Maybe there's something wrong with my keywords. I don't really know. But reverse print is when the fabric, when they use the inside of the fabric as the outside of the fabric. So it gives it that kind of faded look. And um, I don't know. I really like reverse print, but 
you, you know, Rain Spooner used to be really easy to sell on eBay. It takes a little more time and it's probably due to saturation is my guess. But I still pick them up. I can't help it. If you can find Rain Spooner shirts with sports themes or um, anything like that, like odd, those do great still. You know, I've sent some Pro Bowl Rain Spooners back to Hawaii even not that long ago. So I do still look at them and some things are hard to stop purchasing and these are one of those items for me. But I did do well at 3510 plus shipping so I'm not mad. Ariat Mules. I could have got more for these guys. I just, once again, needed sales, was listing things that I knew would sell, and these sold in a day or two. They were listed quite cheap. I could have probably doubled that if I wanted to sit on them, but I, I'm kind of getting out of the idea of sitting on things too long. You know, if I can just get profit back and put the money back in to my business, that tends to be the way my mind is thinking right now on some items, especially clothes and shoes. So um, I did take 2240 for these plus shipping. And you know, if you want to hold on to them, put your price up higher. I do run sales all the time now. So I price, I try to price higher than what I want and then run a 30% off sale or sometimes different numbers, but that's what I'm at right now. Oh. Cluster grapes. I love finding them. This was just glass, so it was a lower price sale. But if you can find the clustered grapes with the lucite, those are awesome. They sell great. This one, I knew it would sell, and it did. So I got it. I think it was a buck. So, you know, not huge profit here either. Sixteen fifty one plus shipping. But it's easy to do that lower um, profit item when you know it's going to sell pretty quickly, and they did. So. Not a bad choice on my part. Okay, this is um, an interesting brooch. It was in a brooch lot that I purchased, and it was this weird spider, and the legs were movable, and it was just wire wrapped. But looking at it, it really intrigued me because it felt like silver, but yet parts of it didn't. So I tested every part. I tested the web, the base of the web, the pen. And it turned out that only the the webbing that's wrapped around there is sterling silver. The rest of it is not. And let me show you the class. And it was totally, look how bent up the pin is. It's And I put that in my condition. But this is called a C-clasp when you, um, whoops, a C-clasp right there. That gives it some age. I don't know how old it was, but it was so interesting. I knew somebody would buy it, somebody that collected spiders or wanted to wear it on Halloween. So I was happy to list that one. And I think it did pretty good at 2313, free shipping. And it didn't take very long to sell. Vintage Monet hoop hugger earrings. The hoops that are real close to your earlobe are called huggers. And I'm telling you, I've had clip-on earrings in almost every What Sold video. They just sell. It's bizarre to me. So I did okay on these. 1634, free shipping. When you get things in jewelry jars and jewelry bags, you you want them to move and not get overwhelmed with jewelry. So you do price them a little lower sometimes just to get them out of your life forever. Okay, this brand confuses me, but Nayot is a very expensive brand. It's made in Israel. It's a comfort shoe. I have several pair of Nayots listed of different varieties, sandals and whatnot, mules. Um, I really think they are going to actually become a bigger deal soon. They're just not really heavily searched right now. These shoes new were, you know, close to $200 probably. So I took a risk and my risk really didn't pay off. I got them super cheap. I still made a good profit. I got $34.64 plus shipping. But I'm going to be on the lookout for Nayot shoes because, I don't know, just my gut feeling tells me that people are going to be searching for these more. They're also considered one of those comfort style shoes too. And, you know, like I said earlier, comfort shoes do well. 
I love this necklace. It was very vintage and just a beautiful shade of green. I mean, just stunning in my opinion. And it didn't have a maker's mark. Let's see if I can find the marking on here. But it was marked Japan. So that gives it age. The beads were in incredible condition. It's not silver, it's just metal, but it was so beautiful. I'm so glad somebody purchased this because I know they'll love it. There was some stretching in the beads and I did note that in my condition. If you look right here, the string, it needs to be restrung if somebody really wants to cherish this piece, but um, it's still wearable. Look how beautiful that color. I don't know, it just reminds me of a mermaid. I adore it. But it's out of here for $16.76 free shipping. This Bible surprised me quite a bit, actually. I was comping it and saw that some had sold for pretty high prices. I don't remember exactly what I found in the comps, but I took the price down slightly from the solds that I had found. There weren't a lot of solds to go by either, so I just thought, you know, I want it to go. This was actually my, you know, a family member that is deceased um, Bible, and I kind of felt guilty at some point going, am I supposed to list things like this that meant something to my family? Well, you know what? It's okay. I would rather somebody enjoy this Bible and use it and love it than it's sitting here taking up space with a stack of other Bibles I have for my family. So I listed it. It's sold in I think a day. So I don't think Zondervan is always a very good brand of Bible, but this one was something special and I think it has to do with the age, 1965, and it's um, marked reference Bible. Let me show you here if I can find, if I took a photo, surely. Okay, so it has, um, you know, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost words are in different colors. So that, I think, is what makes this Bible special, I'm guessing, <laughs> but I think that's it. Anyway, it was a good one, 4224. See, I sell my own items all the time, guys. Like, I source a lot too, but it's always good to just relieve your house of your items that you don't use or need. Okay, the last item is Bergano Colhan loafers. These are beautiful. Cole Haan makes really good shoes and when you can find certain styles of Cole Haan, they're worth way more money. Like Nike Air has some soles that are on some of the Cole Haan. Those are usually pretty good too. These aren't that type, but let me show you the inside label right there, Bergano. And I love it when they say crafted in Italy instead of made in Italy. You know, I do believe these are hand stitched if you look at the stitching there. But um, Bergano Colhan are very good so always comp those out if you find them. These sold fairly quickly, maybe a couple weeks for $61.35 plus shipping. So you can't really go wrong with those. And I love weaved leather so I was drawn to those immediately. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I rambled through that whole thing. I hope you don't mind. That's 25 items I've sold on eBay recently, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the bell um, so you can be notified when I make another video. I'll be back with you soon, and I just wish you guys a great day. Thanks. Bye.